welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Mirage Comics Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today I am very stoked. This is a character I absolutely love, I love the lore, I love the mystery, he's just a weird, creepy character, but he works oh so well, and of course I'm talking about the Rat King, Lord Hantan himself, depending on which lore of the character you pay attention to, Archie Comics fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. He is number 16 in the Mirage Comics line. The back side of the box will show you lots of gorgeous photos. You got the To Be Continued. Not something new here, but I believe the Rat King was delayed just a little bit, but we finally have him. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode. Happened into my local target. Targets, and lo and behold, he was sitting there right on the shelf, could not be happier to finally take this figure home. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, from the Eastman and Laird's Mirage Comics Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line, The Rat King by NECA Toys. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. And again, I'm very much used to the Rat King being in black and white, like the old Mirage comics. I would say the color scheme is more in terms of the IDW color classics for Mirage, but it definitely fits the Rat King. As far as the accessories go, he does come with a big wooden stick. I think they've achieved that nicely. And it's a perfect beaten stick for old Michelangelo, taken very much from those old comic panels. He holds it very nicely, and yeah, you can club Mikey over the head if you so desire. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a Rat King figure without a couple rats, so you get three rats, a sitting rat, a running rat, all of which are painted nicely, and then you get more of a dead, curled up sort of rat, maybe one you can hang off the bat, his tongue is sticking out. You get a ton of extra hands. Now, I will say this, they're all painted nicely. They have the various Rat King wrappings all over them. Some of the black highlight marks to give it that comic book feel. And notice you get two various forms of punching hands, one with the thumbs out and one with the thumbs curled in, but more on that in just a few. In terms of the extra head portrait though, take note here, this would be kind of an alternate look for the Rat King as they kept going forward with him in various stories. Kind of sort of Jim Lawson, I would say, if anything, kind of also a mixture of various artists. But Jim Lawson with the Rat King, yeah, that definitely is one. And I love the hair. It's weird. It's creepy. They've really captured that art style here. And so with the extra hands, with the rats, with this particular head portrait, you have several alternate customizable looks for the Rat King, and that's what makes for a very cool looking figure. Now, the one other alternate pair of hands that he comes with in one particular panel, as he's kind of talking about his humanity, he looks down at his hands and they're wrapped in the bandages, but then it slowly starts to morph into these more garish, creepy rat hands. And for that alone, that shows me Negatoys loves to pay attention and well, they do it so well, but I love it. Because the Rat King himself, look at that head portrait right there. All the bandages, the hair, the tufts of hair sticking out, the blacked out facial features with just the white eyes showing, with just the white teeth showing, the mouth is open. That is so well done. It's just amazing. This is an amazing figure. But you kind of have to know about the Rat King. That's another caveat to this. All of his stitching, the way that his suit looks with all the wrappings on it, keeping with the articulation scheme, it's just that gross textured feeling for the Rat King. And if you'll notice on these hands right here, the thumbs are tucked in, which definitely comes from the artwork. Let's say, I monster. That's, again, paying attention to the artwork, giving us alternate hands, but knowing the source material as only a neck of toys could do. So for that alone, I love it. Again, down to the feet, the booties, all the various stitchings. He looks dirty. He's got peg holes on the bottom, all of the wrappings, all of the dark patches. That is cool. And I particularly love how they have a lighter bit of green within the darker shades of green. That's just fun. That's just a really well-painted figure. But the one thing that irks me, if anything, 
is that the wrappings right here, you constantly have to fidget with. They'll fall down. It's kind of like that old Marvel Legends Cyclops, sort of like the Rogue too. All the, the bands kept falling every two seconds. So that in particular, I, I'm not too keen on, but then you get to kind of move them around at your leisure. So it's kind of a give and take situation. There's plenty of articulation in the head. He has his little Rat King sort of scarf right there. You can move around. The arms... No problemo moving around, up, down, left, right, double jointed elbows, wrists, swivel, rock, all that. He has some upper diaphragm rotation. He has some waist swivel. He has the legs. And I got to say, no problems moving this guy around. That was really enjoyable because usually I have to say, well, heat the neck of figures up. You can get him sitting down. You can kind of pose him sitting with the rats if you'd like. He has more of a softer crotch diaper kind of thing going on it doesn't hinder the articulation the legs they'll have double jointed knees and as i'm telling you yeah don't heat anything up it's totally fine just go easy with the knees just go slow at first the feet will rock up and down left right again it's just a stellar looking figure for a stellar character now the rat king himself very mysterious is he alive is he dead if you know the story yada yada he is totally one of those characters that can definitely gel with Splinter. In fact, he would be the main character kind of posing him with in general. But in terms of the scale between the Ninja Turtles, the Rat King, and Splinter, yeah, I would say all of these go together nicely. Although I will say, NECA Toys, what happened? Why didn't the Rat King come with a throwing star, or at least a magnetic throwing star for his chest. Now, if you want to have some old fashioned video game fun with a little mirage flair to it, yeah, he will kind of sort of fits here. It's <laughs> it's just something fun. That's really it. It doesn't really work all too well. But I have to say this is a great figure. Again, if you are a fan of the old Mirage comics, the old TMNT lore of who or what the Rat King is, again, what happened to this guy? Is he a ghost? Is he otherworldly? Is he just some wackadoo that they based off a New England traveling guy named the Leather Man? And yeah, maybe they just went with that. Who knows? That's what makes the Rat King fascinating. It's just a guy who lives in the sewers who loves his rats and occasionally bothers Splinter, of course. But again, I love that you can sit him down hanging out with the rats. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. So comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything the Rat King and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, stay tuned. We got so much more NECA Toys, TMNT coming. It's insane. It all drops at once, doesn't it? When it does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.